Biomass Engineering. Biomass Engineering is establishing a manufacturing facility and a pilot plant to develop biomass fuel pellets produced from renewable resources. We are developing three product lines to be manufactured, which include fuel pellets for residential heating, fruit wood pellets for flavored meat smokers, and selling process time to convert hops flowers into hops pellets for the brewery industry. The geographical location where this pilot plant is being developed offers a large variety of cheap and sometimes free feedstock. The facility that you see here is our pilot plant, which is capable of producing 600 pounds per hour. We feed in large sticks and renewable energy waste through this pulverizer, where it is then dried and blown through this blower and dried through this cyclone. It is then brought through a conveyor up into the the pellet mill, and there's hydraulic cylinders in here where it forces the material down through a specifically uh, designed die and then produces the, the pellet under a lot of pressure and a lot of heat. The heat is generally 220 degrees Fahrenheit, and then you produce your pellet here. There's another piece of equipment that you can't see outside of the screen where it dries the pellet and cools the pellet down during the, the end of the manufacturing process. Our team. I've teamed up with Sergio Segal and Ray Casor through the PE at Stanford course. When I started the team, I was looking for individuals that have a passion in manufacturing and product development. Sergio is an engineer and an investment fund developer from Brazil. He has an extensive background in international development and biomass solar projects. Ray Casor is a biofuel engineer from Australia that has an extensive background in the oil and gas industry market and myself located in the United States with a background in mechanical engineering and power science. Our current business model is based on proven technology in a market where there's a high demand for feedstock and a high demand for biomass pellets. Our model is based off an actual process cost of 600 pounds per hour and a true overhead cost that can easily be extrapolated. Overhead includes the energy to run the piece of equipment, our workforce, asset retainers, raw materials, factory retrofitting to accommodate the equipment, property taxes, unaccounted for overhead, and payback from an investor fund of $200,000 if needed. Our sales and marketing strategy. How do we sell our product? In developing this pilot plant, it was determined geographically what products are currently in demand. Three major in-demand biomass pellets stood out. In rural areas, most homes and residential properties heat their house with fuel pellets. That is one major demand in this area, are fuel pellets. Also, a new trend in microbrewing has spurred many new hops farms to develop with minimal services to reprocess their crop into usable pellets. A third one is a new trend, wood pellet smokers, which our team has already developed potential commercial sales all the sales strategies have been developed by word of mouth and by taking several meetings with restaurants for smoker pellets, hops farmers for processing, and wood pellet stove retailers for fuel pellet distribution. Our marketing campaign is in strictly direct direct company meetings, which has established and developed potential sales. We have further marketing campaign to extend into an online internet for sales in the fruit wood and smoker pellets, as the fruit wood pellets have the highest margin potential. We currently have a ver verbal purchase order for 2,000 pounds for one ton of apple fruit wood smoker pellets to be used in commercial restaurants. An initial $2,500 purchase order was captured with this direct marketing approach, which will be an ongoing business. Initial samples of 20 pound bags are provided to potential customers for test evaluation. We believe that we can develop enough sales regionally with the low overhead marketing campaign to fill our pilot plant machine and capacity at 600 pounds per hour on a 30 hour work week schedule, 18,000 pounds a week, nine ton a week. Once we expand into a larger volume processing plant, we will be increasing our marketing to include an online website and local advertisements in newspapers. We will also expand our sales multiple local distributors in the biomass fuel heating market. Our process capability will easily be outsold by the market demands. Market demands for fuel heating increases dramatically during winter cold seasons, and 
and will be offset by lower demand in the summer by processing fruit wood and hops, which are in demand during peak seasons of the summer. Sales. Our key decision makers in selling fruit wood to commercial restaurants is normally the head chef of a restaurant. We offer no charge trial samples to the chef so he can produce his recipes based on the quality of the fruit pellets that we provide. This helps determine the quantity and what type of fruit wood that he wants to use in his restaurant. We are targeting right now commercial accounts initially so we can fill the capacity of this machine and also we'll use any excess downtime to produce uh, biofuel wood heating pellets. It generally takes about one week for a commercial customer to trial the fruit wood smoker pellets and determine if they will make that purchase. For heat fuel pellets, the distributors are looking for the lowest cost as it's a commodity item and they'll stock it on their shelf so they can sell it to individual customers. A time frame for the sale on heating, uh, selling heated fuel pellets is about two days. And again, it's a commodity item. It's a low price. Uh, and the, the best thing with being uh, regional is we don't have to pay for uh, large shipping quantities, large shipping prices. Regarding partnerships, our current business model does not require partners and or investors at this stage. The pilot plant, plant factory and power sources have already been purchased and an initial $27,000 investment and an initial sales have already been developed and will be used to cover the investment with a greater than 50% margin on our product. When the company plans to expand to a much larger machine, we may possibly look at investors, but the project can continue to draw investment capital from the purchase factory. In the overhead costs of manufacturing, we allocated a cost to retrofit and rehab a factory, which can be leveraged for investment for capital gain once the factory has completed renovations. We have established a list of 50 silent investors that we can approach for additional capital if needed beyond our initial investments. Distribution. Our product is going to be distributed regionally. We will be working with local commercial restaurants in the fruit wood pellets, working with local wood pellet stove sales distributors to sell the wood pellet fuel, and working directly with local farmers to process their hops. These distribution channels will not have a large impact on cost, as all of the freight will be shipped by local carriers, which allow our company to undercut suppliers that have hardwood pellets that are imported from Canada or shipped from the Midwest. Our costs. Our overhead costs include energy costs, workforce, asset repayment, raw materials, factory retrofitting, accommodation equipment, property taxes, unaccounted for overhead, and a payback of investor funds of over $200,000 on a five-year time period. Total overhead uh, costs to manufacture a biomass pellet based on all of these prices is 19 cents per pound with an average retail price for fruit wood pellet at 83 cents a pound, which is our target market out of the three revenue streams. Excess machine time will be filled with hops and lower with approaching investors for an initial $200,000. We will reinvest any earned profit back into the manufacturing facility and expand when required. Regarding our revenue model, the market for three product lines has already been established as they are commodity products. So it is easily easy to determine the price line structure. The regional advantage to undercut the competitors is the cost for freight, which is substantial. And our product that sells for 83 cents a pound, seven to 10 cents per pound is factored in for freight with our competitors, where we don't have to absorb that into our manufacturing costs or in our sales total product. Our risk. The largest risk is establishing a manufacturing facility. All of the costs are up front before you can even develop a saleable product. We have taken this risk and we are purchasing and have purchased a pilot plant and we have also purchased a manufacturing facility where we can develop these. Funding for the pilot plant, conveyors, dryers, power supply, and factory have been independently funded by myself and will sustain independent ownership. I want to leave by quoting Steve Jobs. People say that you have, a lot of, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing. And it's totally true. And the reason is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. It's really hard. And if you have to do it over a sustained period of time, so if you don't love it, and you're not having fun doing it, if you don't really love it, you're going to give up. And that's what happens to most people. So 
So I say 